welcome. Welcome back and welcome home. My name is Melissa and I will be your multi-density cosmic tour guide today. We're going to do a little bit of a check-in with the energies and see what's going on, what's going on that is unseen in the energetic uh, levels of who we are. And um, I just finished a really good reading session or, or cleansing, clearing, healing session with a really high vibe being, light being. And so it just gave way to, um, you know, what the downloads um, for humanity are lately that are coming in and helping us realign in our divinity and understanding our, our gifts, talents, abilities, and our true divine paths. And so I'm going to ask for all of our guides, guardian angels, and source, pure Christed, purifying Christ energy light um, to be with us today and keep us protected and safe, as well as um, work on our chakra systems and cleanse, clear, realign, and keep us aligned in our optimized divinity alignment. Okay? For whoever wants that. Um, we were talking about um, the energy structures that which we our human minds and human language cannot really really comprehend um, how they've all been distorted throughout the years in the fallen Garden of Eden template structure or the twin flame it's the same thing out of me twin flame um, marriage of Christ template was taught us about duality and sort of just got out of control right so hijacked, overtaken, and most of you here are here to balance that out, be a transmuting um, source, light, divine being, and holding in daily daily life um, that transmutation and dissolution of that overwhelming, darker energy. So um, the cool part is that the codes and the activations and the downloads coming in have so much um, magical divine um, under, like understanding and, and wisdom, knowledge, truth that it's, it's just coming in in streams. And so when we can step over some of the things like as we keep cleansing and, and clearing and healing um, the rips and tears and the, um, what do you call it? The infestations and um, access points or those darker energies throughout the tens of thousands of years past um, have been trying to hold on, hijack, take over, attach, um, whatever the words are. And I've seen that for a very long time, that time period be over for us. So I always see things two, three, six, seven, ten years in advance sometimes. And it's a little tough for me to hold on. Like I'm, I'm like, what? hurry, hurry. And, um, of course, patience is a virtue, they say. Remember, remember that commercial from 1985? What? <laughs> and um, these divine en energies, the streaming light, the solar um, cosmic heart, um, solar consciousness, uh, cosmic Christ coming into us is you know, reactivating our knowledge and wisdom and it's so exciting so it's causing some people to act jerky and um, snarky and snotty and whatever but it's also um, helping us remember who we are and how we can remember to be who we came here to be and receive so um, in our royalty we keep standing up and readjusting our crowns and that um, sacred stairway to heaven on earth that sacred ladder to the higher consciousness um, is being built in our, not built, but rebalanced and restructured as it is our divine blueprint, humanity's divine blueprint. So, um, so I said, what's going on in the, the energies, the ar architectural engineering going on that we can't see that humanity is like, I mean, we gotta, we gotta go to work and do laundry and stuff. And so, um, we're not really paying attention to the energetic structure of the universe all the time. Um, and the universe is us. That's our image of God, our divinity. So um, I, I was like, what are, what are we working on? I was, it feels like there's a lot of attacks and a lot of um, 
things falling apart that were always meant to be divine balance. And so one of the things I thought, well, we'll just pull some cards and work on it. And one of the things that came up was um, our fertility and the divine feminine. So as I've been saying um, and seeing, and many of you, many of you have been seeing it as well. I don't know if you would use the same words, but you have also been seeing that divine feminine come out of imprisonment, um, cages, uh, yokes, chains, strongholds that have been over the divine feminine in humanity for tens of thousands of years that seem normal, like abuse, um, degradation, people willing to degrade other human beings, especially in public or on Facebook or, or something so severely that we're not even true. Um, people willing to lie, cheat, steal, betray each other, steal people's partners, swap, lie, rah, rah, rah. and those are things that all rip holes in um, our systems. And those things are being course corrected, course corrected, course corrected by God um, as God sees fit. And, and I'm like, so what is, what is coming in? How can we receive um, that in the past would have leaked out or been stolen by people, systems, the, our belief systems, the way we, um, um, our society works, what was taken from us that wasn't really supposed to. So here's one ready. <laughs> I got our, uh, my favorite, my favorite cards of all time, um, are the activation, sacred geometry activation cards by Lon, L-O-N. Here's what the back of it looks like. And the first one I got is Prosperity. Number nine. Number nine. Prosperity. Look at this. So um, we're not quite sure what all of the um, sacred geometry of the universe looks like. Um, and even if this is not exactly it, this is sort of what it looks like in the energetic form for those of us who have vision or uh, mystical gifts of uh, vision. And... Um, imagine this, these many layers of who we are, earth, air, fire, water, and ether vibrating out into the true correct form, um, our divine blueprint, our divine plans for each and every one of us, as well as humanity altogether. So look at the different chakra, um, colors and all kinds of stuff going on. So this has been possibly in the past cut open here, shut down over here, had hijackers, hanger owners, skanky jerk burgers in there. And um, this could be the level of prosperity, the, the bandwidth layer of uh, prosperity, which um, in this deck is number 36, which is a nine. And nine is um, completion, um, enlightenment, wholeness, humanitarianism, done <laughs> so what if some of the healing has been done in the layers of prosperity for humanity we haven't caught on to it we don't see it yet with our eyes in the physical realm but what if we have scrub scrub scrubbed out of some some of that lack mentality out of all of us and um shut down that wound over here and over here and this trauma over here and over here and in the next days weeks months and years and generations as we uplift and rapture out of that lower skinkified fallen Garden of Eden or the Upside Down, um, we have some kind of structure in balance and wholeness and prosperity for all of humanity. And remember, humanity is anyone that still has any light, spark of divinity in them. So this card um, can bring us a little idea of um, what's going on. The frequency of prosperity supports our fe feeling of well-being by allowing the inclusion of everything that makes our body, mind, heart, soul, and spirit sing. It invites us to express ourselves in joy and celebration of the abundant, abundance and riches that the universe provides. Every time. So there's a lot of abundance going on, even if we can't see it, even if um, for those of us in the States, we're kind of going through a um, up and down lift of, you know, housing and things like that. Um, crime does pay, it seems. Um, 
just really imbalanced stuff and the housing is so expensive and um, all kinds of things that were ripped and torn into us um, that involves some of that shadow of lack mentality or fear. A lot of fear. And so this prosperity is like scrubbing those out and coming back into to balance. And as we all know, in truth, the real truth, somehow, even though we don't know how it works, is that there is plenty for everyone and there is prosperity for everyone. There's enough health care. There's enough homes. There, I mean, there, there are enough homes, physical structures, structures within we're working on. And there's prosperity for all, for all of us to have enough. And um, unfortunately, our world was built in a way that made our belief systems believe that those people over there, it doesn't matter if they're being, you know, abused, harmed. They don't have enough to eat. Their water sucks. It's going to kill them. It's just, it's still going on in the physical. But there's something going on in the waves of the divine where prosperity is coming in. These The light streaming in to us now. And we are going to relearn, realign, reactivate, and understand um, how to stay in that foundation of prosperity. And it will spread throughout um, all of humanity. Because that's how it works. Let's pull another one. Is there anything else? Pull another one. Anything else? Two came out, so we got three. So I got remembrance. So in these retrogrades, we've got Mercury retrograde. We're still in Venus retrograde. Um, Chiron, which is the wounded healer. Um, that's the words we know. <coughs> and I don't know, I think some others, the Neptunian things still going on in the remembrance is hitting all of us. So as a humanity, it's we remember how it used to be two decades ago or, or two millennia ago. And we're aligning in the idea, the understanding, the understanding and truth of um, pulling us into these timelines, um, highest good timelines. So we're cleansing and clearing to the beginning of time and back. So that would be our Akash, our Akashic records, um, which have been a low, in a lower defunct state of being hijacked, a little bit defunct. Um, and we're remembering all the things who we belong with, where we really belong over and over and over until it's scrubbed so clean that we understand. And um, I think it's pretty cool. Um, one of the things that I do sometimes is ask um, one of my persons, I, I'll go, hey, what's the theme song for the week? They always like different music than me. I don't know why I do it <laughs> over and over. Because I'm like, mm, okay. But, it, you know, I learn from it every time and they'll send me a, a song. And, um they asked for one today from me, so I sent them a song. It's pretty fun to me. And um, it helps us remember. Um, it activates memory and helps remind us, like, all those pieces, those fragmented pieces or all those pieces that have been beaten down and um, sometimes are outside of our mind, body, spirit, soul, body. Puts us back into order and, and brings us back into the, um, also the gratitude of... Um, this experience and why we came here. Right, star seeds? Right, earth angels? Right, empaths? Mm -hmm. So it's a number 38. Remembrance. It's an 11 card, so you've might have seen some 11, 11, 11, 11s. Um, the frequency of remembrance supports our memory of everything that we have gone through as a soul and body providing us with valuable information and tools to flow gracefully with and in this life. Ready to flow? That's streaming in. Streaming in. That's why we're here. I really like that. That's really beautiful. Um, there might be some symbols and signs as well. Um, this, to me, is, is like a remembrance of all our higher self pieces and and balance it. Look, there's the cosmos talking to us, and 
um, aligning us in balance. Thing with sacred geometry that's always in balance, so that template. So there are many layers of sacred geometry and the architecture around us, the energy. So it's in the template of the Garden of Eden, which we will realize is of the light universe and not so much of the skanky lowest um, scrotal um, uh, people ide people's ideas of karma or duality because they were sort of tricked into our minds, mind controlled. Um, our belief systems and we'll realize it's it's a bigger picture of light um, and it's balanced and in the new era will um, for our grandchildren and great-grandchildren and people to come we will show how um, to remember who they are who they came here to be without that gross veil that has been heavy and yucky and tainted and pulled back into the light universe as it was always meant to be. Love it. Frequency of remembrance supports our memory of everything that we've gone through as a soul and a body, providing us with valuable information and tools to flow gracefully with and in this life. Groovy. Next one, number eight, alchemy. Eight. Eight. Eight energy still going on. Look at this divine trinity right here. Every um, sacred geometry, whatever it may be, um, that was tainted, had holes in it, had all kinds of stuff and galactic warring going on or human suffering shoved into it. Pfft, gross. No. Um, is coming back into that divinity as above, so below balance and um, it's layers and layers and layers and layers that build the template of the sacred garden of Eden and um, the alchemy those who are divine magicians alchemists um, came here to um, scrub out and transmute that's pretty much the main thing so um, and hold the new templates of love and peace and joy and harmony and prosperity and abundance and healthiness and wholeness and safety, nourishment, support, love, love, freedom in everything. So these are the um, purposes of some of the star seeds, the indigos, the empaths, the earth angels, the divine anointed and chosen beings, um, which is again, remember, um, sparks of humanity, I mean sparks of light in the, uh, the divine part of each one of us means we are part of humanity. I like this card too because it's, um, I love the colors of course, um, but look there we go, we got that infinity symbol coming back into the um, circle and, and flow of the divine. Alchemy, oh the frequency of alchemy activates our magical abilities and remembrance of the magic that we all hold inside. Each one of us has the potential to access the ancient knowledge that allowed the true alchemist to perform the miracles of transmutation. I'm telling you, that's what Jesus was trying to tell us all along. I've been saying that for 30 years. No one really likes it when I say that, but moving mountains, <laughs> casting out demons, and healing, healing the one, the divinity, remembering who we came here to be. Thank you. Um, and another one flew out, and it's the third eye chakra, number six. That's home, home, freedom, home. So in here is our pineal gland in the middle. And if anyone has had any issues feeling attacked or waking up with... Um, um, infiltration of their dreams or anything like that I ask if it's okay um, with your heart and soul um, for protection 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 and your Christed energy to to um, shut down any and all um, wounds holes traumas in our energy fields and of the past and any blockages or any whatever that's going on 
architecture that was inverted that was placed over our third eye chakras. How's that? Um, and the number six home, freedom to see, hear, feel, know, and touch home in our vision, in union with heaven on earth, here, spirit, physical, in union. The frequency of the third eye chakra, the indigo flower of life, supports our intuition and our inner knowing, our imagination and our psychic powers. All about it. Feels like there's a lot unfolding for everybody, and I'm so excited. So I, I remember years ago going, oh, good. <laughs> like, um, you know, because I've been the, the title, at least, psychic medium and world renowned and all that kind of stuff. And I, I and people kept going, I want to be famous. I want to be famous. And then they would try to do something and take whatever. And I was like, that's, I don't know. Ugh. Um, you divine star seeds, divine beings, um, whether we're known on TV or not, um, which I would not always prefer in my life. Um, many of you are famous in the light for coming here at this time and for being born to um, be the healers and the teachers and the ministers and the um, supporters and the mother bears and the um, psychics and the healers and the mediums and the um, freedom fighters and the gateway gatekeepers gate way openers and um, certainly those who um, hold that vision given to them in their divinity by the divine third eye chakra everybody number six the frequency of the third eye chakra the indigo flower of life supports our intuition and our inner knowing our imagination and psychic powers so um i ask for blessings and love for all all of you all of us and um whatever we need our highest good for each one of us as well as the collective and uh, and and as a whole in every level, every layer, to the beginning of time and back. And um, as God sees fit, as God source sees fit, and each one of you, I just, I thank you so much. And I am honored to um, get to cross paths with you, whether it's this way or in person or on the phone or in the Zoom or even in our um, circle of, of love, our soul tribes um, in those higher realms, that 5D and above, even if we never get to even know about each other in person. So um, you are never alone, and I thank you for being you. I see your light from here. Welcome home.